hello and welcome to quickkitty.com in this tutorial video we are going to learn about gradient descent okay in the last section we learned linear regression so we found a way to find the best combination of slope and intercept to fit our data points using something called as ordinary least squared method so what is gradient descent let me take the same example of our re linear regression to fit a line through our data points all we need is slope and intercept there can be infinite combinations of slope and intercept okay there can be infinite combination of lines in infinite lines which can fit our data points so which is the best line so best line is a line which has least sum of squared errors Please watch my previous video to know what sum of squared error is. I'm just going to call the slope and intercept as weights. So I'm going to define gradient descent as something like this. So gradient descent is an algorithm which is used to iterate through different combinations of weights okay in an optimal way to find the best combination of weights which has minimum error so gradient descent is an algorithm which iterates through different combinations of weights okay in an optimal way to find the best combination of weights which has minimum error so in our data point let me just consider this data point okay whose value is y this is actual value and let yp be our predicted value so our error will be error will be equal to actual minus predicted value and error square will become ya minus yp the whole square so the for all the data points if we sum up this so which can be represented something like this sum of all the errors i'm going to call this function as loss function or cos function so this is called as cost function which can be written as j of m comma b equal to summation y a minus y p the whole square since we know the equation of our line i can write it as y a minus mx plus b the whole square so our goal is to find the comb uh, the values of m and b okay which minimizes this cost function or loss function which minimizes this cost function so for the, for the sake of explanation of gradient descent i'm going to consider a simple cost function okay with only one variable so j of x is equal to x square so now our goal is to find the value of x which minimizes this cost function so our cost function is just a parabola 
okay y is equal to x square just by looking at this graph we we can con come to the conclusion that the minimum value okay for which our cost function will be minimum will be at x is equal to 0 so at x is equal to 0 the value of our cost function will be 0 so we know that at x is equal to 0 our cost function will be minimum so our uh, minimum value will be x is equal to 0 this was easy because I had considered a simple equation now since we know our uh, minimum value let's just find the same using gradient descent in gradient descent we are going to just find or, or, or assign a random initial guess okay I'm just going to guess plus phi as our initial guess I could have chosen any other guess like I could have chosen xi as minus phi or minus 10 or even or even plus 10 okay so I'm I'm just choosing plus phi as our initial guess so the value of our cost function at uh, at our initial guess will be uh, y is equal to x square which is equal to phi square so 25 is our value of cost function at our initial guess in gradient descent algorithm the value of our next guess will is given by xi plus 1 is equal to xi minus alpha times derivative of the cost function so alpha is called as learning rate so learning rate is something okay if I have chosen xi as minus plus phi right so if I have chosen a small learning rate our next initial guess will be our next guess will be like something like this plus 4.5 if I have chosen a large learning rate so our next guess will be something like this xi equal to plus 1 and then xi is equal to minus 1 okay so it's always desired to choose a small initial guess or a small learning rate so that we don't cross the minimum value we have to find a minimum value so choosing a learning rate a small learning rate is always preferred but choosing a very small learning rate is also not preferred because it will take a lot of time to iterate through each values so our training of neural network will, will be slow if we choose a very small learning rate I'm going to choose my learning rate as 0.2 and the derivative of our cost function x square is 2x so the equation of our next guess can be written as xi plus 1 equal to xi minus 0 0.2 into our cost function which is 2x so since we know our initial guess is plus phi so our next guess will be xi plus 1 is equal to phi minus 0 0.2 into 2 into phi so phi minus this will be 2 so our next guess will be 3 so we have moved from x sub i equal to plus phi to 3 so the value of our cost function at xi equal to 3 will be x square is equal to 3 square is equal to 9 so we have moved from 25 to 9 so we have minimized the value of our cost function so we are going to iterate this until we find the value of x which has minimum error or minimum value to our cost function so I'm going to it I'm going to show one more iteration so our next iteration will be 3 minus 0 0.2 into 
2 into 3 so this will be 3 minus 1.2 which will be 1.8 so we are going closer and closer towards our minimum value so this is how gradient descent algorithm works if you have any questions please leave a comment below